Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Diane. It's my beloved wife, Suzanne. Uh, today, we were sitting on the couch and we were trying to figure out what are we going to talk about today. You know, Suzanne has uh, four devotionals, the fifth one coming out soon. Which one should we share with you today and what do we want to share? And Suzanne asked me and I said love, which is almost always my answer. But So that brought us to Theology of Desire. Yes, so we're going to read a passage from here and um, like Diane said, I, I said, what do people need to hear? <laughs> what do people need to hear about? And she mm. said love. And this seemed like a really good answer to me. <laughs> okay, so this is from day two of uh, Theology of Desire and the title is The Intimacy of the Trinity. So I'll start with the scripture. Today's passage is, is from Colossians 3. And above all these things put on love which is the bond of perfectness. Hmm. Or some translations say the bond of perfection, which is, hmm. it reads a little more gracefully, I think. It comes off the tongue better. It does. Perfectness is not a <laughs> word we typically use. But the bond of love is. Hmm. There are many theories about how the mystery of the Trinity works. Some say love is the connecting force which binds the three together. Others say the Trinity is a circle of never-ending outpouring an enclosed water wheel where one pours out and empties into the next, which pours out and empties into the third, which does the same back to the first. A God who is Trinity tells us something about ourselves, the longing for each other which compels each person of the three to be one with the next mm -hmm. is the same force which creates in us a hunger to be one with another, the same seeking for union, for fullness, for completion by giving and receiving. We are made in the image and likeness of God, not just of the Creator, not just of Jesus who is also human, and not just of the Spirit. In the image of all three we were made, are made. This reality doesn't mean we simply reflect the characteristics we associate with each of the persons. We are those things, yes, but we must also be made in the likeness of the bond which connects them. That force of love which knits not only the persons, but the entire universe together. That same love acting like the pull of electrons toward the neutrons and atoms, or the gravitational force of planets circling the sun. We image that electric hum desiring mm -hmm. unity. God created existence for reasons which defy our comprehension. Life fulfills some desire God has, and humans hold a particular role in that fulfillment. You would think the Trinity would be complete in itself, all fulfilling, all quenching. Yet God desires more. God desires us. Hmm. In turn, we also hunger for more, reaching for the completion which comes through another. Hmm. Um, I have a closing quote here from Richard Rohr, uh, who, if you're not familiar with his work, his writings, he, um, I don't remember if he's on Facebook, he probably is, but he's on Twitter um, with great stuff. There's daily um, devotions that he, you can set up for him, email, and it's wonderful, wonderful mm -hmm. stuff. <clears throat> so his clo the closing quote I included here says, we could say, in the beginning was the relationship or the original blueprint for everything else that exists. John's word for that was logos. In other words, the first blueprint for reality was a relationality. It is all of one piece. Thus, we must read the whole Bible as a school of relationship. So today we're talking about love um, and in the form of relationship and in this um, wholeness that comes from the giving and the receiving through relationship. Um, did you have some thoughts, Myla? Well, I think the part that that hit me, and I think I'll be thinking about this very short sentence all day, is God desires us. Mm. The creator of everything desires us. It wasn't enough yet. They had to create us to be mm. with them. Uh, that stuck, stuck with me. That's mm. very powerful. That uh, this bigger God than we can imagine soul desire was to be with us there wasn't enough everything else wasn't enough mm -hmm. so to whomever or whatever tells you you're not enough oh you are mm -hmm. you're more than enough because God created you to be with you God desires you mm -hmm. and the other piece of it that we've been talk we were talking about um, 
in considering this passage today was uh, that a lot of times for homosexual people, um, Christians focus on, conservative Christians, focus on sex and um, you know our hearts are all hung hungry for love and fulfillment um, through relationship mm -hmm. and um, there is nothing wrong with love God it got his love and the love that uh, gay people feel for one another um, is so much more mm -hmm. uh, so never you should never have to feel that your desire for wholeness through relationship is anything other than beautiful and God oriented mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it. Is that it? Is that it for today, my love? Happy Pride. Happy Pride. <laughs> Every day this month. <laughs> you guys take good care, okay? And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>